There's something fishy at Ontario Place this week as Sturgeon Falls and the West Nipissing Public Service Association present their displays at Ontario North Now. One of the focal points of the display is a 4-foot, 85-pound mounted lake sturgeon, but it's a sturgeon byproduct that makes Sturgeon Falls famous. Billing itself as the caviar capital of Canada, representatives from the community are giving away free samples of local caviar to the visitors. The towns of Cache Bay and Field, as well as Caldwell and Springer Townships, all joined with Sturgeon Falls in the display which exhibited tourism opportunities and samples of local industries such as curling stones made from West Nipissing black granite. Community representative Sylvie Gagnon explained what people want to know about the region. Most of them ask about the camping, renting cabins, uh, the fishing, boating, which is great in our area. The uh, farm vacations, mm -hmm. taking an airplane, landing on the lake. Other displays highlighted the area's agriculture, which included bushel baskets of grain and a model farm. Taking a farm vacation is a popular way to explore the region. Photographs, video presentations and wood byproduct samples around the pavilion promoted local industry and lifestyle. Local artist Perry McLeod Shibogizik was on hand painting native art on hide, canvas and bone. Visitors to Ontario North Now will also be able to view The Birch Bark Sings, an art exhibition composed of paintings and various workings on birch bark and traditional canoes. The Northern Ontario Showplace in Toronto plays host to one community each week throughout the summer. Next week will feature the North Shore Development Association promoting a number of communities along the North Shore of Lake Superior.